Hi everybody, it's me Sarah at 12 on Main, and I'm doing my first live broadcast here on Facebook. So please be kind. And I'm sure nobody will pop up for it, so at least it'll be here just in case anybody wants to check this out. Um, last night I posted a video of me doing some hand lettering. I've been practicing for a little while, and I had a lot of questions on what I use, and so I thought I'd do a quick um, Facebook Live to kind of show the products that I've used and I've also if you look in the description I've included some uh, affiliate links for you if you wanted to click on them it'll take you directly to the products that I've used to learn how to hand letter so um, first I just want to tell you about about myself my name is Sarah I originally grew up in Las Vegas I'm living in a small town now and um, I spend my days doing DIY projects raising four kids and just whatever life comes at us that day um, and so I have had a blog at or website, it's a website at 12onmain.com for almost three years, I think. And this is my first live because I have been scared to do it. And I took a course this this uh, over this last weekend, and they told me I had to start doing it. So if you're gonna be on here and you start heckling me, Cindy, I can see Cindy started. And I'm gonna heckle her back, so she better be nice to me. That's my sister. So anyways, um, I'm just going to start talking about some of the products I use. My biggest question I got was what um, pen or what marker I use. <laughs> You're such a bad head. <laughs> so the, the marker that is my favorite is the Tombow, and it's the dual brush. So the one end, I can't figure out, looks like that. And then the other end is small and it's a little bit more um, dense. The, the other side, the big side, is really flexible. So when you put it to paper, um, it gives you that, the more pressure you give, the wider the line it will, it will use. Um, so that is my favorite. They also, they carry a lot, and this is only like $5. I know it seems like a lot for a pen, but you get a lot of use out of it. And I have a link to um, it on my, on this Facebook Live. But you can also get it in like a five pack for like, I think it's like $14, but I've had mine for over a year, and they've lasted that long. Also, they carry these uh, multicolored ones, which these are really fun. This is like the muted palette, and that's like the bright primary colors. And then I also have the dual brush pans. Or these are the like the gray scales, so they come in all different colors of the grays or the blacks. And then something that's fun that comes with these is um, – they have a blending pan, and it's got a white tip. And so what you can do is when you're hand lettering, you can start with one color and then finish it with another color. And <laughs> I'm going to have to kick my sister off this. <laughs> but, uh, and then you can blend the two. <laughs> and then they also have smaller ones that I like to use. Um, These are also Tombow. I'm trying to figure out how to hold that. And they've got dual ends, so you can use, they each have different purposes. Um, I don't use them as much as I use my dual, the dual brush. That is my favorite. Um, some of the other items that I've used is, this is what, some of the things I purchased right when I started, is I got the Ultimate Brush Lettering Guide. And I thought it was pretty, I just got it on Amazon, and I've got a link to it. But it gives you tons of resources of like, practicing, you know, you practice your name, it's almost like a little, you just, I just sit and watch Netflix and do this. Um, hi Brooke, I'm so glad you're here. Bye Cindy. <laughs> um, but it gives you, there's tons of examples, and then, I mean, you, you practice your basic strokes, so it gives you lots of practice doing your upstroke and your downstroke, they call it like a descender. Um, your upstroke is where you will have a lighter touch and you're not going to push real hard. And your downstroke is where you're going to give a wider line. And so it, the, I think the hardest thing for me to learn was to consciously think about pushing down harder as I go down and then lifting up and going lighter as I went up. Oh, thanks, Brooke. No, this, this was a really fun book, and I still haven't gone through the whole thing. There's tons. I mean, I, you can see my mess-ups. I've got... But they can't, I, well, I can't find mine, but like they give you lots of different how to like 
all the different ways to make an A. And then you can practice it all on these pages. Um, let's see if I could see if like one of my mess ups. Because, well, this is one. This is just, it has pages of, you know, A's. And then you just practice doing your A's over and over and over. All your letters. Um, and then, let's see what else is in here. It's just a really good resource. I really liked this book. And so I would say if you want to start lettering, that this is a good one to get. Um, I also got this, and it's the Calligraphy and Hand Lettering Notepad. I got that on Amazon as well. Um, and you can see a lot of my beginnings. Just, just doodling. But this one's nice. This is just a book of full of lined. So this is, a, you know, lined, but it's got the angles on it too. So you can kind of control the angles of your letters because you want them to um, all kind of lay the same way. I don't know if that makes sense. But it also has just the plain lines, kind of like that. So this wasn't very expensive either. And it's got also it has the dots. So all these are different resources to use to hand letter. Um, I haven't used this one as much, but I really like it. I find that I just, um, I use this the most. And I think it's just because I, I'm not very, I don't like to be organized and I don't like to have like a, I have to do it this way. So I use my calligraphy sketch pad. I've heard that if you use just regular um, copy paper, that it can ruin your uh, tips of your pens. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, I have a kid coming in here. Shh. Okay. Just go by. That's the life of having four kids, and they all have the day off today. So, um, but what was I saying? Okay, I like to use this. Um, yeah, Kim. I love it, and it's like last night. It's my stress relief. I use it a lot when I'm feeling stressed or having a bad day, and I just kind of kind of zone out a little bit. Um, and so I definitely used it last night. But uh, I like to use this the most, I would say. And um, it. Uh, oh, I was gonna say about the the markers. These markers, I've heard that if you use regular paper, like just copy paper, yeah, it ruins your pens because it breaks down the fibers in your pens. So I, um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I can't keep focused. So anyways, this is my, this one I actually haven't used a ton yet, but this is just kind of sketching. I should have brought my one from downstairs that I, is just, it's chock full. I like to be able to have more free reign of my lines and just kind of do, but this I think is my absolute favorite. It's just blank paper, not very expensive. Um, thanks, Brooke. <laughs> And that's, that would be my favorite. Um, there's a lot of uh, different styles to um, hand lettering. I haven't perfect, uh, I don't have any of them perfect, but I've only just worked on a few. Um, and, you know, I think once you kind of get the gist of how it works, you can use your own creative license to kind of make it your own. And um, combining them and stuff like that. There's a lot of, you know, you can see on Pinterest a lot of ideas that you could kind of, not necessarily copy, but you could practice with them. And that's what I've done. Oh, sorry, Kim, let me show you. I'm using the Tombow. I think it's, I don't know how to say the rest of it, but it's got a tip. Like this, let me see if I can get a good, like that. And so that, that tip actually, it'll bend quite a bit. So I can, I can see if I can show you. I mean, it bends a lot, and you have to actually put a lot of pressure on it. So I'm going to kind of turn around and see if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's like a brush tip. So, you know, the lighter it is, so you go up, and then you come down, and it's going to go. So that's uh, So this one's kind of wearing out, actually, and the, the tip is kind of maybe didn't push down on there. So... I like that tip. The other tip on this is a smaller one, and it's it's more like if you wanted to do you know it's more, it's more of a rigid tip. But this there's another one that I like. Um, let's see if I brought it up here. I probably didn't. I think it's this one, and this one's a Tombow as well. Uh, 
actually think this was the very first one I bought. Thanks. And so this one's almost kind of like a smaller brush tip and you have to push really hard. But you can get a, a thinner line. And this is really hard to do, just holding it up. So anyways, so there's different. So this is the brush tip. And then that is the more rigid tip. And then this one right here, it doesn't say, it's all in Japanese. So I'm not sure what tip this is. But I think if you just type in brush tip, this will show up. But the dual tip is the one that has this and it has the big brush. And that's the one that I really like. So I would say if you just want to get started. And let me just tell you, I am not like an expert at this. I've done this for, I don't know, six months. But when I was a kid, my mom bought me all the calligraphy stuff. And I spent a lot of time doing calligraphy when I was a kid. Um, I just thought it was fun. And so this is kind of, a, I guess, a modern day calligraphy, I guess. But um yeah, so I'm not an expert. If you want to talk to an expert, I'm sure you can find one. I'm just giving you some tips of what I have found that I like to use. So I'll just go over this. For anybody that is just hopping in, I'll go over really quick what I use. I've left some links in um, my message, so you can click their affiliate link, so I would earn a few pennies off anything bought, but that kind of helps me run my website. So, um, Hi, Casey. Hi, Lauren. Those are some of my friends. So anyways, I'll just I'll just jump in real quick and I'll show you real quick before I go log off because I don't know how to do this for very long. This is my first one, guys. So Casey, don't make fun of me. So anyways, okay. I this is my favorite pen, and I've already shown some of you. It's the Tombow Tombow dual brush tip. So it has this brush tip like this, and then it has a smaller one like this. So this is the one I use the most. Um, I have, they have done lots of different colors. I've got the gray scales and I think this for this many, it was like $17. So I'd say, yeah, I mean, that's probably a little expensive, but these will last for a long time unless you're using them hours every day. Um, and I just wanted some colors that I could use and then the dual brush and I could show you how these dual brushes work. They're really fun. Or these are the... Um, the muted colors and I'm not very good at it but it's kind of fun to use um, I'm just gonna show you because there's a blending pen that you can use and that's the blending pen and that actually will blend the two colors together so I'm gonna turn around again because I'm super fancy this way so you would start and then come down with your A I guess and then I'm gonna go up and then, and I don't know if this is going to turn out, so you guys will probably hate me after this. And then you can connect them. And then I'm going to connect that green back over here just so you can kind of get an idea. That E right there. All right. I'm just going to do that much. And then, you take the blending pen, which is that, and you can blend those two together. So it creates kind of a, and this one you can kind of see, just kind of blends them together. And that's fun. I like using those. So sometimes I get bored of just doing black, but um, for the most part, I just use my black pens. Um, but the color ones are a lot of fun, and my kids beg to use them. I do let them use my, my primary color ones. Or my bright colors because I don't use those a ton so anyways and then also I'll just this is what I started with I got this on Amazon um, and it's a good really good resource and then this is the calligraphy hand lettering notepad and it's just a book full of pages and pages just to practice and I really like that and then this is my go-to for just about everything because I do a lot of sketching for my paintings I use this for that as well and so oh I'm so spooky that's nice but I should have I should have had my one from downstairs because it was really nice and full of all my practices yeah I mean these aren't great but just you know practicing so anyways um 
I hope that you learned a little something. I'm actually going to be writing a blog post about this that will go live tomorrow, and it will have lots of resources of, of uh, different items you can get and uh, different free printables that you can buy or get all as well, because if you don't want to spend money on something like this or like this, you can get a lot of um, free printables on Pinterest from different bloggers that offer it for free. And so I actually have a lot of those that I've printed off as well, and they've been really great. And the, I guess the, the secret to it is, is a lot of practice. And I find if I haven't done it in a while, then it's really hard to get back into. So, but try it out and try and see if a day that you're having a really bad day and you really want to just beat your kids or something, that you'll want to just like take 10 minutes and hide out and just kind of doodle. And it makes a big difference in my day, I promise. So um, thanks for stopping by. And if you want more information on anything that I do, you can check out my website. It's uh, 12onmain.com. And thanks so much. Bye.